Okay, so in this problem we'll be doing set matrix zeros. So this problem is pretty simple. Um, given an M by N matrix. If uh, matrix I, J is zero, zero out its row and column. So for instance, if we had a matrix like A, B, C, zero, then we want to output something like this, where um, since the first row and the first column have a zero in it, they are zeroed out in the um, output matrix. Some constraints are that we want to do this in place and with o order one space, so as efficiently as possible. So the trick to this problem, or at least the most efficient solution that's been discovered, is to use the first row and the first column um, as placeholders for where to set the zero. So um, if we're going to use the first row and first column as placeholders, then we actually need to calculate whether there's a zero already existing in the first row and first column, so we need to do those separately. So um, I'm just going to do pseudocode for this one because there's a lot of code to work through, but um, it's pretty messy and the logic is not that complicated. So first row has zero is going to be this Boolean um, that is true if and only if there's a zero in the first row. Similarly, first column has zero is a boolean. That's true if and only if there's a zero in the first column. So we're going to calculate those and store them. And then we're going to iterate through the matrix. So for i in range m, for j in range n, what we want to do is um, if matrix ij is zero, then we want to mark um, the first row and first column with that index. So matrix of i of zero j equals matrix i zero equals zero. All right, and then we want to repeat the process. Now we want to iterate across all elements um, in the matrix. One small detail that I've neglected to mention here is that technically you don't want to iterate over the first row and column, so you want to start the range function at one for both of these. And the reason is that we're using the first row and column as a placeholder again for the logic of our function. So um, for i in range 1 to m, for j in range 1 to n, we're going to check if um, either of these is true, if the first, if the, uh, first row or first column of the corresponding element has 0 in it, um, then we want to then we want to um, set that element to zero. Okay? And then the last thing we need to do is to take the computed Boolean values that we created in the beginning and then appropriately update the first row and the first column such that if the first row had a zero in it at the beginning before we started to use it for logic purposes, then we want to zero out that row in its entirety and similarly with the first column we want to apply the same logic. And this is the way to do set matrix zeros, a uh, popular leak code problem in the most efficient way possible.